What's good guys? Back here with another unboxing video. If you guys haven't seen my previous unboxing video, I'll put it down below in the description box. But yeah, let's get right into it. Woo! 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 Alright. See? Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG White slash Midnight Navy. Retro 1 Metallic Blue slash White. Comes with the extra laces. Not bad. I'm sure you guys already seen these in stores and probably on sale and stuff. Probably on the restock. Quality is very similar to the Chicago's. Some people say the quality sucks. Some people say it's good. Personally for me, this was actually the first OG colorway of the Metallic series that I got. The blue pair. Feel nice. So Nike is actually still using the same rubber material that they're actually been using. I don't know how many years now, but it's been probably since the early 2004 to 2006 and so forth. They've been using the same material. So if you're ever wondering why pretty much your midsoles or your rubber on the heel drag or the stars go down quick, that's because they haven't changed the materials that they use on the rubber soles here. It feels cheap still. So no matter how many times they have changed this one in the best quality, they still actually haven't changed this one. 94, 85 ones have good quality. The early 2000 dunks, those are good too. If you guys ever noticed the 2001 retro ones, like the, the breads or the royals, this is actually the same material they've been using. But if you ever come here to 94, it's different. The color's different. But overall, a nice looking clean shoe. Can't complain. I'm real happy that Jordan Brand actually finally retro these other pair this was something i already opened up here are the lows i was pretty much waiting until i can actually get them on sale because i noticed that the lows weren't doing that well here's the low version of the metallic series still same very same quality material that you guys see here they are the retros let me get the ogs all right okay and here they are 1985 metallic blue Lows and highs, the complete set. Obviously the difference is one is 30 years older and one is pretty much not 30 years older. Some cuts, some slight differences in that. One thing I did notice is that the OG pair was more painted on, as you can see from the scuff here, while the retro was more of an indentation with the color. Again, there's something about this cracking from the metallic paint. It makes it look really cool and stuff, but overall, Here's the retros. Now, the lows is something really difficult to come by in any size. This one, obviously, in my size, I mean, you got two holes here. Chunk of it's missing part of the midsole. So smooth right here. There you go. Low set right here. And then these guys here, metallic red, metallic purple, my holy grails. Love this. Metallic green. Something about the metallic green is very special. Metallic black, where the sole doesn't have a matching metallic paint color. The thing with OG ones is it's pretty much why I collect them is it's history. Pretty much it, you know, for me, this was the first metallic pair that I got back in 2007, 2008. Can't really remember when I got it, but it was roughly around that time. So almost 10 years now. Now it's something about the OG ones, um, the history, the quality, something about it, the smell. It's just a historical shoe overall. Now the ones that I'm pretty much missing from the metallic set is the metallic orange and the metallic maroon. Now those are pretty much hard to come by. In the last like five, 10 years on eBay, I've only seen the orange one pop up, but the maroon one is something I can't find. It's really difficult to come by in those two out of all of them. But the one that really took me the longest again is the metallic purple. Again, it's something about the OG ones, the cut, quality, color everything that they did on the ones is just unique it's a mysterious shoe because there's still colors popping up that I haven't been seen on the internet in 30 years and you know it's really crazy thanks again guys for watching this unboxing video comment like subscribe tell me guys what you guys think down below in the comments but yeah thanks again for watching guys really appreciate it